Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to True Squadron, and in today's video, we will be discussing every LEGO Star Wars Phase 1 clone trooper ever made. Now, before we do that, let's discuss the history of the Phase 1 clone trooper armor. The clone troopers were created in Kamino to be trained as the best fighting force the galaxy had ever seen. After Obi-Wan Kenobi finds them on Kamino, Master Yoda takes delivery of the first batch of clones as they quickly see action at the Battle of Geonosis. These clone troopers were all white armor with fins on top of their helmet, as well as green, blue, red, and yellow markings on their armor to signify a higher rank or status. On Geonosis, they deployed their heavy equipment including ATT walkers and LAAT gunships as they achieved their hard-fought victory against the Separatists. The Phase 1 clone trooper armor would be used throughout the Clone Wars, with clones starting to change their color scheme to show individuality and clone legions. But later in the Clone Wars, every clone trooper would change their armor to Phase 2. But if you all are interested in that, I will also be doing a LEGO version of every Phase 2 clone trooper ever made. But let's get into every LEGO Star Wars Phase 1 clone trooper. All right, to start off, we have the original Phase 1 Clone Trooper that was first came out in 2002. Now, this is just a kind of a classic symbol to me of LEGO Star Wars in general. I actually do really like how this guy looks. And you see there's a little a little like piece of plastic that comes down that kind of cover up their neck, which is very interesting. I don't know why they did that, but it just kind of give it more of a seamless look, I guess. But um, obviously, it is pretty dated with the, uh, the prints not being 100% uh, accurate, but it's really good for the time. The helmet is very interesting with the indented look that we'll get with Phase 2 Clone Troopers later on. But I would say a classic Clone Trooper minifigure that is kind of uh, loved, I, I believe, but let's move on to the next figure. Next up, we have the Clone Wars animated version of the Clone Trooper. Now, this is one I have a ton of nostalgia for with it being like the first kind of clone I was able to get in mass um, army of, with it coming out in a battle pack that was just amazing. I remember walking into Toys R Us and finding those battle packs without even knowing they were coming out. It was just the greatest feeling ever. But I, I have to say that the animated version now is a little dated and obviously not accurate to the movies, but I do have some nostalgia for it and I still really like this figure. And there's several versions of this that will be kind of reused and given a more printing that we'll be going over next. Keeping in line with the animated clones, we have the clone gunner that also came in the battle pack with the regular animated clone trooper. Now this is another one that I really do like. It has a lot of nice printing on it as you can see on the top with a kind of a gold color and kind of a dark, really dark green uh, color on the, on the helmet there with a nice Republic insignia and also an extra piece of armor with some metallic look on the body. So overall, another great animated figure. Obviously not accurate to the like movies, but a great figure nonetheless. Now we have a clone pilot, which is marked by its yellow markings on the helmet and a Red Republic logo, as well as its breathing tubes on the torso there. Another great uh, Clone Wars minifigure, but it's not totally accurate with the clone pilots not having fins. It's just kind of a smooth top on the helmet there. So not 100% accurate, but great for your clone um, gunships or like V-19 turrets. So let's move on to the next figure. Next up is a Horn Company Clone Trooper. Now I'm so surprised Lego actually made this because it's only appeared in one episode of the Clone Wars, but I am glad they did because this figure looks awesome. I really do love the color scheme with the kind of a bright yellow and olive green color on the armor. And it has, of course, printing on the top of the helmet a little bit on the, the cheeks of the helmet, as well as the logo, I presume, of the Horn Company, and some more printing on the legs, which is really cool that we got that detail on this figure. But overall, I would have to say, this is probably a one of the best individual, kind of unique clone troopers that we get. Keeping in line with unique figures, we have the Clone Bomb Squad Trooper, which only appeared in like the Blue Shadow Virus episodes. So another figure that didn't really show too much in the Clone Wars, but, Another great figure with a lot of orange marking with it, which funny enough would be in a clone trooper with mostly orange armor than white. 
It has like a little diamond print on its helmet with otherwise the whole helmet being orange. Another cool pattern on its torso and cool legs, of, of course. So this is another really cool figure, but weird that it came in a battle pack because you kind of don't want an army version of the Bomb Squad Troopers, but a really nice figure with a lot of uh, cool printing. So I give it a good rating. Now we have our first commander and it is Commander Cody wearing his phase one clone trooper armor. And when this came out at the time, I was so excited. We finally got a Commander Cody minifigure, but in its phase one version, which is obviously its less famous version, but a really cool figure nonetheless, has a little printing on its mouth there, or his chin, kind of some lines through there, and just a little bit of orange on the top of his helmet. And then his classic look on his chest or his torso there as well as a little printing on his belt and orange arms. So a really great figure. Now you can't do a clone trooper review without doing our boy Captain Rex. Now this came out in 2008 when the Clone Wars movie was released and another awesome figure that we got with a really nice printing with the jade eyes on the top of the helmet, a little bit of black and yellow there, as well as the blue going around the visor. No printing on the torso or the legs though, just blue arms, but a great simple figure that we got here with Captain Rex, worth a lot right now, because Lego hasn't really made too many versions of him, just this version and the phase two, so a really awesome figure. Now we have Commander Fox. Now this is one clone trooper I really loved growing up with his dark red markings, and look at how cool this torso print is with this uh, Coruscant Guard kind of insignia on there with a kind of dark red belt as well and dark red arms. Now, backstory on this clone trooper has to be that most fans really do hate Commander Fox for shooting fives, so most people do not like him as a character, but I have to say he does have really great armor. Now we have Commander Gree and his phase one armor. Now this is the lesser known of this armors with the phase two version being, I would say more popular and coming in a lot of sets recently, but his phase one armor is really cool nonetheless with this dark green color scheme on his white armor with the like a big kind of stripe going down, kind of like a 501st trooper, but it's a lot thicker. And his torso with his little belt or his little like, like little ammo pouch going across there and really cool leg printing. So another great commander figure to add to your collection. Now our next figure here is not actually a full Lego version of the figure. This is a Wolfpack clone trooper wearing his phase one armor. And the only Lego part of it is his actual torso and his legs, which his helmet is actually a clone army customs helmet because I don't have the helmet of that Lego official Lego figure, but this will have to do for this, which is actually really cool because it comes in the realistic version with, um, has a really nice, see if you can see this wolf pack insignia on the top there, really nice and detailed. And of course his body being accurate with his kind of a bluish dark, uh, light bluish gray color on his arms and the rest of his armor. So a really great figure and we're actually gonna be doing the same thing for the next. And here we have Commander Wolf. And again, it has the Clone Army Customs helmet, which I have to say looks absolutely amazing with all so much detail throughout the helmet here with the red triangle on the front and the kind of jaggedy details on the side. It just looks super cool. I know it's not the Le official Lego version, which I wish I had, but I do have the same official Lego version for the torso and the legs. Also has a little waist cape, but another really amazing figure for your collection. I'll have to get the official one someday, but this will have to do for now. Now we have moved on to the realistic phases of the clone trooper armor. Now this is the plain white regular version of this clone trooper. And this has to be one of my favorite clone troopers of all time. It with purely because of its accuracy and just its simplicity, as well as just, you know, you see a bunch of these in battles and you just have to get like hundreds of these if you want to do it justice. But I have to say, this is a awesome figure and let's move on to the next realistic clone trooper. Moving on, we have the realistic phase one pilot. Now this is really cool because it has the yellow kind of stripes on the top there, some red little Republic logos, as well as its breathing tubes on this chest. 
but this does not have his kind of fin taken off yet to be more accurate, but this will have to do for now. Here we have a realistic phase one clone sergeant, and he's marked by his olive green color scheme. And he also has a shiny kind of metallic visor as well, which is really nice, and that would be go for all the ranked um, clone troopers. And he has just his olive green color on his helmet and his arms and little dot showing his ranking on his chest. Now, this figure is a sergeant, uh, like I said, and he commands squads of nine clone troopers. So for every nine clone troopers you have, or regular clone troopers you have, you have one of these guys. So that's just a little fun fact for this video. Now we have a phase one clone lieutenant who is marked by his light blue markings which is super cool. I really do love this version of the clone armor. And he has, again, the kind of metallic visor and the same markings on him goes for the rest of them, just like the clone sergeant I just showed before you with his arms and a little bit on his chest and his helmet. Now, keeping in line with the ranked figures, we have our clone captain who's ranked by his dark red color scheme. Another awesome looking figure that you must have for your clone army. Now, our final ranked figure is here and also our final clone trooper that we'll be going over is our clone commander now this is our obviously the phase one clone commander with shown with his kind of bright yellow or a little bit of gold armor now this is another awesome figure to have in your collection kind of a must for your phase one clone army so guys that's gonna do it for this video I have to say I had a ton of fun making this and going through every Lego clone trooper that was made. And if y'all like this content, please like and subscribe because I'll be having more videos just like this. And I hope y'all have a great day.